The Faroe Islands is undeniably one of the most breathtaking destinations in the world. Its stunning natural beauty, rugged landscapes, and pristine coastline make it a must-see location for any traveler. However, what truly sets the Faroe Islands apart from other tourist destinations is its cuisine. Have you ever tried fermented fish? How about a dish made from a sheep's head? These are just a couple of the traditional foods you can expect to find on the Faroe Islands. But why do the locals eat such unusual dishes? In this video, we'll dive into the history of the Faroe Islands, and you will learn fascinating things about the island, including their language, culture, economy, and much more. With that being said, let's dive right into this exciting island. 1. The Faroe Islands are a small archipelago of islands in the North Atlantic Ocean, northwest of Scotland and halfway between Iceland and Norway. 2. The name Faroe comes from the Old Norse word fire, meaning sheep, and ur, meaning islands. The Faroe name reflects the importance of sheep farming to the Faroese way of life. In fact, there are more sheep than people on the island, 70,000 sheep compared to 52,000 humans. 3. Being some of the most remote islands in the world, the Faroe Islands have remained largely unchanged by time and uninfluenced by modern societies. 4. The Faroe people have a grass roof house which they mow with sheep. 5. The Faroese cuisine is known for its uniqueness. One of the popular dishes is called skurpigget, which is a type of fermented mutton that has been hung and dried for several months. The meat is known for its strong and pungent flavor and may seem disgusting for outsiders. 6. The Faroese inhabitants also love seafood, including salmon and haddock. They are also known to consume dolphin and whale meat despite the criticism. Local specialties include fish cakes made from mashed fish and potatoes and fish stew. 7. The climate of the Faroe Islands is characterized by mild temperatures, abundant rainfall, and frequent fog and mist. 8. Northern lights are visible in the Faroe Islands. 9. The islands are characterized by their rugged mountainous terrain with steep cliffs and fjords dominating the landscape. 10. The highest peak in Faroe is Slater and Tinder, which stands at 880 meters above sea level. 11. The Faroe Islands are made up of 18 major islands and numerous smaller islets and skerries, with a total land of around 1,400 square kilometers. 12. The largest island is Stromoy, which is home to the world's smallest capital of Torsvan, which has a population of just over 13,000 people, as well as several other major towns and villages. 13. Denmark maintained control over the islands for several centuries, although they were occupied by the British during World War II. In 1848, the Faroe Islands became a self-governing territory within the Danish realm, with their own parliament and government. 14. Their own parliament is called the Lokting, which has been in existence since the Viking Age. 15. There is no prison on Faroe Island, and it is one of the safest places on Earth. 16. You will find only nine sets of traffic lights in total, out of which eight are in the capital, Torsvan. A perfect location for you if you can't stand traffic lights. 17. The summer months from June to August are the warmest and sunniest, with temperatures typically ranging from 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. The winter months from December to February are the coolest and darkest, with temperatures typically ranging from 3 to 7 degrees Celsius. 18. The islands have a rich and fascinating history dating back to the Viking Age. 19. According to legend, the Faroe Islands were discovered by the Irish monk St. Brendan in the 6th century, although there is no concrete evidence to support this claim. 20. The islands were colonized by Vikings from Norway in the 9th century, who established the first permanent settlements on the islands. 21. Faroese is a tonal language, which means that the pitch of a word can change its meaning. The language also features several unique consonant and vowel sounds that can be challenging for non-native speakers to master. 22. Fun Faroese words that might sound funny or interesting to English speakers. Shanvarp, meaning television. Skirpichet, meaning fermented lamb meat. Grindrap, meaning pilot whale hunt. Fiskimoria, 
meaning fish guts. Crambu, meaning grocery store. 23. The waterfalls on the island of Stromoy and the Bodalafusor waterfall on the island of Soroy are great natural sightseeing places you can visit. 24. The islands have a large number of tunnels, measuring approximately 11 kilometers in length, and bridges connecting the different islands, some of which are among the longest in the world. 25. The economy of the Faroe Islands is largely based on fishing, with the island's rich marine environment providing a wealth of opportunities for the fishing industry. Faroese inhabitants have high wages with an average monthly salary of 30,000 DKK before taxes. 26. The traditional beverage of the Faroe Islands, known as Ul, is well known. This is not a beer, as the name might suggest, but rather a type of home-brewed ale made from a mixture of malted barley and dried hops. Earl is often served at social gatherings and is an important part of Faroese culture and history. 27. The Faroe Islands have a growing tourism industry, thanks to their stunning natural landscapes and unique cultural attractions. Puffin Safari is one of the tourist attractions where you can go to see the birds up close. 28. If you are a James Bond lover, the Faroe Islands were used for the latest James Bond movie, No Time to Die. 29. The Faroese language is a Germanic language that is closely related to Icelandic and Norwegian. It has a unique sound that sets it apart from other Scandinavian languages with a distinct melody and rhythm. 30. Faroese names are typically of Scandinavian origin, with common surnames including Hansen, Joinsen, and Peterson. 31. The Faroe Islands were under the control of the Norwegian crown for several centuries, but in the 14th century they were ceded to the Danish crown. 32. One of the most iconic animal species you can spot in the Faroe Islands is the Atlantic Puffin, which can be found nesting on the island's sea cliffs from April to August. The islands are also home to several species of whales and dolphins, including the long-finned pilot whale, which is a traditional food source for the Faroese people. 33. The island's rich marine environment also supports a variety of fish and shellfish, including the prized Faroe lobster. 34. Some of the top natural attractions in the Faroe Islands include the stunning sea cliffs of Vestmana, the picturesque village of Gasadalur, and the rugged hiking trails of Mykines. 35. Faroese culture is deeply rooted in their Viking heritage and their unique natural environment. 36. The islands have a history of folklore and superstition, with stories of elves, trolls, and other mythical creatures being part of the culture. 37. The island doesn't have trees of its own, and the ones you see are imported. 38. The islands are located in the path of the North Atlantic Current, which moderates the temperature and keeps the climate relatively mild throughout the year. 39. Faroe Islands are also subject to frequent storms, and strong winds can be a common feature of the local weather. 40. The cost of living in the Faroe Islands can be relatively high, particularly for imported goods. The islands have a high standard of living, with free health care and education, and a generous welfare system. 41. Skyr is a Faroese type of yogurt made from strained milk. It is similar to Greek yogurt but has a milder flavor and thicker texture. This Faroe specialty has become so popular that you might have seen this somewhere. You can even buy it in other areas in Europe. 42. Another popular Faroese dish is reskyot, which is a type of air-dried meat that has been left to ferment for several months. The meat is traditionally made from lamb or fish and is served sliced thin with bread and butter. 43. The Faroe Islands Prime Minister's phone number is in the phone book and he can regularly be seen by the people. 44. Despite their small size, the Faroe Islands are home to several professional footballers. Jans Martin Knudsen, soccer teams, and the national team, B36 Torschwan, Torschwaner Latverleg, that have achieved some notable victories against larger nations. 45. Music, dance, and traditional handicrafts, such as Faroese sweaters and other woolen garments, are an important part of Faroe culture. 46. The islanders celebrate a variety of unique festivities throughout the year many of which are tied to the island's rich cultural heritage and history. 
One of the most important festivals in Faro is Olaf Soka, which takes place in July and celebrates the island's national holiday. 47. The Faroese also have several traditional music and dance festivals throughout the year, including the Samartonar Music Festival and the Faro Island Folk Festival. 48. Faro Islands are easily accessible by air and sea. The islands are served by the Vagar Airport, which offers direct flights to several major European cities. 49. Ferries also connect the islands to Denmark, Iceland, and the United Kingdom, providing an important link to the outside world. 50. The Faroe Islands are known for its free use of buses in the capital. 51. Common female names in the Faroe Islands include Susanna, Katrina, and Maria, while common male names include Johan, Oliver, and Paul. 52. Many Faroese names are derived from the Old Norse language, reflecting the island's rich history and cultural heritage. 53. The Faroe Islands have their own postal service and issue their own stamps, which are highly sought after by collectors. 54. Cultural highlights in the Faroe Island include the National Museum of the Faroe Islands, the charming town of Torsvan, and the historic ruins of Kirkjubaragurar. 55. Archaeological sites such as the Viking settlements at Kvivik in the ruins of St. Magnus Cathedral in Kirkjubuar also offer a glimpse into the island's rich history and cultural heritage. 56. The Faroese boat is a unique rowing style which involves rowing in teams of six or eight people. 57. The majority of the population of Faro is indigenous to the islands, though there are some immigrants from other countries. 58. Tindholmer is a rocky islet located off the coast of Vagar and is a popular spot for hiking and photography in Faroe Islands. 59. The TV show Vikings used the Faroe Islands as a filming location. Thanks for watching this video about the Faroe Islands. Did you learn anything new and interesting about this autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark and Europe? What was your favorite fun fact? Are you now curious to visit and experience the Faroe Islands' unique natural environment and cultural heritage for yourself? We hope this video has inspired you to continue learning and exploring the world around us.